Hi, my name is Jordan, and this is my mentor, Doug. I grew up in a, in a single parent household, um, and I, I've always valued the role of a mentor, especially a male mentor. Um, once I started working professionally, I wanted to find ways how to give back, and mentoring kind of seemed natural for me to do that. When I first learned about iMentor and Doug and I had met initially, we had hit it off with cybersecurity and how I wanted to join the FBI to be in the cybersecurity division. If I had to sum up Jordan in one sentence, I would say Jordan should basically be my mentor, not me being his mentor. He's one of the most self-driven, motivated, laser-focused individuals that I've met. Doug has exceeded mentorship status. In February, my grandmother ended up passing away suddenly, um, and Doug stepped in. Uh, he came to the hospital, made sure I was fed, checked in on me every day, <laughs> sometimes two or three times a day. <laughs> it was really just natural making sure that I was there for Jordan. Him being there actually, uh, you know, kept my spirits up um, and made sure I was still focused on school, finishing, graduating, and making sure my college process still went over smoothly. I applied to roughly around 40 schools. Um, it definitely was a difficult process <laughs> and um, ending up with 24 acceptances. Doug, you're an amazing person, and I appreciate everything you've done for me. You are family. I know that we say that to each other, but you know, you know we're fam now, and you know we're always going to be fam together. My mentor is definitely something you should do, um, even if you're having second guesses. It doesn't hurt to take the shot. Um, maybe you'll find somebody as amazing as Doug was to me. So you can't have Doug, though. Doug's mine. <laughs>